everyone and welcome back to coffee with my sunshine and if you're new here i hope you like what you see and would consider subscribing i would love to have you join my youtube family so today i thought it would be fun to make a few different seasonal and holiday pillows a couple of these are made with things from the dollar tree and just things that i had on hand so first we're going to start with this stocking that i got from the dollar tree we're just going to be using it for the fabric that's on it this piece on earth sign some yarn that i got from walmart fabric that i already had and a pillow insert that i already had And first I'm just going to start by measuring the pillow and then measuring the fabric. I left about a half an inch on each side, I believe. And just like the pillow I did in my last video, I said you can make the pillow cover however you want, whether you use the, um, the iron-on adhesive, whether you sew it, stitch it, or hot glue it, it's up to you. Just make your pillow cover. And right here I'm just kind of trying to eyeball it because I'm going to need a little bit on each side so that I can um, tie the yarn on each side and you'll see how I do that shortly. But first, because I couldn't find any felt at the dollar store, I just grabbed this stocking, which was my husband's idea because the fabric was kind of cool looking. So I just traced the word peace on there and you can use any word that you want, but I thought peace would be pretty cool. I just traced it on there and then cut it out and then I wasn't thinking and realized I had to cut each letter individually so they're going to look a little bit strange I guess or they did to me my husband said they looked fine because um, he didn't see what I already had planned out in my head so he said to him it looked great. So after the letters are all cut, I just went ahead and measured where I want my um, yarn ties to be. And at first I did it every two inches and then went back and did every one inch. So I just threaded the yarn through a needle. It had a pretty big hole in it and I used um, some masking tape. Um, and tied it around the, or wrapped it around the yarn so that it was easier to feed through the needle. But this is all I'm doing. It's very, very simple. If you don't know how to sew, this is perfect for you. I just threaded the yarn through and then made sure that um, each one that I did was the same length. And then after I put a few in, I'm going to double knot them because you want them to stay tight so that the pillow insert doesn't come out. And this is what a couple of them look like. You don't want to tie them too tight because then that will bunch up the fabric. And then I just went ahead and did it on both sides. And then um, you can eyeball this, but I was trying to a little bit make it center because usually I don't measure things out. So I just placed the letters where I wanted them to be. And then for this, I'm just going to hot glue them on. Like I said, you could use the iron-on adhesive stuff. They may even have a spray adhesive that works on fabric, but I'm not really sure. Or you can stitch them on. And obviously if you do it this way, it's not going to be a washable pillow. And then after I put the insert in, I just went ahead and did the same thing that I did on the sides on the bottom. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video. For this next one, I'm just going to be using some stencils that I got at Walmart. Um, I showed you black acrylic paint because that's what I had in my head, but then I ended up using white chalk paint. And then I used this, um, I think it's a microfiber towel from the Dollar Tree. It's super, super soft. Some twine. I ended up using burlap and this pillow fill. And here I'm just going to 
trying to figure out where I want the burlap because I want it to go right down the center. And then same thing here, I just use the tape around the twine to get it to fit better through the needle. And then I'm just knotting, double knotting the first stitch here. And then with the twine, just kind of wrapping it around, kind of like sewing, I guess. And you want to do it tight, but not too tight to where it bunches the fabric. And then you just go all the way down and then at the corner you leave a piece um, a longer piece and then where you start the next stitch um, you're going to leave that as a longer piece as well the end of it so that you can knot them together i don't know if you can see what i'm talking about <laughs> and then just go ahead and do the bottom part and then fill your pillow And then here I'm just spelling out the word joy using those stencils. And I'm kind of measuring, not really. <laughs> and I'm using the um, those little sponge brushes. I think they're great for when you're using stencils because they don't give you as much bleed through as a paintbrush. So same with this one, this one isn't going to be washable because I'm using hot glue. If you use something else, like a spray adhesive or something that um, that is made to be washed, then that's awesome. And if you know of any, please let me know because that would be really cool. I tried stitching the burlap onto the pillow, but it just made the burlap um, fray on the edges. So I thought using the hot glue would one, hold it on and to keep it from fraying. And this is a high heat hot glue gun, so it holds really, really well. And I think that one turned out super cute too. I will show you at the end. And now for the third pillow, we're going to use this stocking from the Dollar Tree. It's one of those sequins ones that you can um, rub in different directions and it changes colors and then also this piece of fabric that I got from Walmart because I'm going to make it a two-sided pillow and then also a scrap piece of that white that we used on the first pillow And for this, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to get the sequins off with the backing still attached. So I just took this masking tape roll because it's what I had on hand. Um, this is going to be kind of my template because we're going to make it into an ornament. And you can make any shape, shape you want, snowman, Christmas tree, snowflake, whatever. I was going simple because I'd never done this before. And then I just went ahead and placed it onto the pillow. And I did the pillowcase in the same way I have shown my no sew pillows before. And then here I just kind of placed the ornament where I wanted it to be and I'm going to paint on a branch. I'm just using brown acrylic paint. And then painting on the topper of the ornament. And then after that was finished, I just hot glued that on to the pillow cover. And then <laughs> took some um, string that I had and poked it through the pillow cover, just the top part of it, so that it looked like it was actually the little hanger for the ornament. And then I tied it on. 
This one wasn't my favorite. It wasn't exactly how I wanted it to turn out, but it had, it was my first time trying it, so I thought I would show you some ideas. And here's what it looks like all finished. There's my cat. And here it is with the pillow that I made in my last video. I can link that above if you're interested. Here's the peace pillow. And I think the joy pillow is probably my favorite. I just like it. I like all the texture that it has and everything. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration. I really appreciate all your love and support. And let me know if you guys like these longer videos or if you want them a little bit shorter and what kinds of things you want to see next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.